Hey guys, oh, welcome to Jujube DIY. I'm Sarah, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial video on how you can achieve a faux galvanized look using bubble wrap. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Alrighty, so starting off with our project, we're going to use these paint colors here. I'll leave them in my description box down below if you're interested in finding out exactly which color I'm using. Also, you'll need a bit of bubble wrap and then whatever you're going to do your faux galvanizing effect on. I chose this bottle cap uh, tin pan thing from the Dollar Tree, the Crafter Square section, but you can really use anything. I would just suggest if you use something that is like a slick plastic that you do uh, some sort of a matte spray paint on it. And then also um, I would start off with either a white, black, or a silver gray base before you get started. So to get started, I'm just going to ball up my bubble wrap and I am going to dip that into my paint. I always start my base off with a bit of the Waverly chalk paint in the color Elephant. So I'm just gonna dip that into my paint, dip that uh, bubble wrap into my paint that is, and then I'm just going to dab that into or onto my project. project. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep dabbing that all on until I get a good base um, on my project. Next I'm going to go in with a little bit of black. So I just dipped my bubble wrap into the black paint and then used a paper towel to get some of that extra paint off and then I'm just going to go in and lightly add some black. Now the key to a faux galvanized look in my opinion is all the layers so you're going to go in with layers and layers and layers of paint and you're just going to keep building those layers on so here i've taken um apple barrel paint in the color elephant gray which is a different color than the waverly so the apple barrel color is actually a more cool toned gray and the waverly is a warm toned gray so as you can see, I added a little more black onto my project than I liked, but that is easily fixable. What I will do is I will just go in with another gray color and just tap over the top of that black and problem fixed. So like I said, it's just a matter of layering on these colors and you're just gonna keep layering and layering and layering until you get the effect that you like. So I added a little bit of white here also, that white is significantly, you know, common in a galvanized look. And I really love the effect that the bubble wrap gives. So I've tried galvanized, getting a galvanized, a faux galvanized look, I should say. I've tried doing a faux galvanized look with makeup sponges, regular sponges, saran wrap. And for me, none of them really compared to the look that I get with the bubble wrap. So the bubble wrap just kind of has that um, rounded look. I don't know how to describe it, but I really do just prefer the bubble wrap. I think it just gives a really super nice galvanized look. So I wasn't too concerned about getting every bit of that light silver color, the original color, covered up because also in a galvanized piece, you're gonna find that you'll have those light and dark grays along with a bright silver color as well. So as a matter of fact, when I get done 
with my base colors of my galvanized look. I do go in with the folk art brushed metal paint in the color silver at the very end to give it that extra silver look just on the very top layer. And I went ahead and just kept all this in here for you guys so that you can see exactly how I do it at a slower speed and um, you know more of a tutorial type video for this. Also another side note is I don't dry, I don't necessarily let the paint dry in between layers. I just keep going in with the same bubble wrap um, just right over the top of all those layers. So I don't ever like sit and let it dry um, while I'm doing the main colors. So as you can see, I added some to the back side of this little pan. And now I'm going to go in with some apple barrel nutmeg brown. And I'm going to go along all of the kind of raised edges where you might get like more of a rusted look. So I know that this look isn't for everybody and that's totally cool. I really enjoy this look. So whenever I do a galvanized piece, I will always go in with a little bit of this nutmeg brown and give it that kind of rusty feel. And I'm just using a makeup sponge for this um, application here. So in the future, I'll probably have more of these like tutorial type videos that I can reference for other future videos. So if there's ever anything that you guys would like to see me demonstrate tutorial wise, let me know in the comments down below and I would be happy to create a quick video guy, a uh, quick video for you guys explaining or demonstrating how like a certain technique is done. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep adding this color, this paint in and around just to kind of give it that extra, I don't know, kind of warms up the piece a little bit in my opinion. So <laughs> I'm just kind of smear it around so that it's not like, you know. And here is a look at my full galvanized look. I really love how this turns out and I think it looks amazing, but that's just my opinion. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of this faux galvanized technique. And if you want to see anything else from me, just leave me a comment and let me know. Guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you have a wonderful week, a happy and healthy day, and you stay safe. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.